So, surprise new Vampire Survivors update dropped. And right as I was trying to get on, and hey look, I've already failed it. That's not good. That's not good at all. But the Beswick must continue, and it must continue in extreme pain. Because, despite an easy ride straight to the end, that last minute is super ridiculously overtuned. That's my sound at? Okay. Alright, let's get my passives going. Maybe... No, I can get Phaser instead of Magic Wand. Let's banish stuff. I don't want to clogging up the item pool. Oh, heart. Gotta get the blood tear. Man. Oh boy. That final wave. That final wave was something else. Rest of the run, no problem. Lots of fun little moments. And I regret that. I'm not going to be able to post them. But this. This final wave. The last minute. These little starter mobs are going to last for like five minutes. And they're going to accomplish nothing. But the last one... Absolutely crazy. If I just had awake, it would have been fine. I need something else for that, so I can't grab it. I'm gonna keep forgetting to switch the beast, uh, the seals out as well. And then again, it's always gonna be empty tome. There's like n maybe Poe who won't want it. Even then, everything else gets the benefit of it. Man, without the magic wand, my lower safety is quite low. I wish there was a way to seal passes. Or, well, seal the slots. Maybe I should just grab magic wand. It was fine otherwise. I mean, phaser is better, but still. Hmm. Right. Oh, that spawns in some sort of, well, just jelly pods. Okay. Well, if that's how you want to play it. One thing I will say is that this level also has early evolutions like some other ones, so once the treasure drops, I can grab Bloody Tear right away and basically sleepwalk my way to the end. Yeah. Oh, hey, that was you. Ooh, Vento Sacro. I could go for Wall for Halloween, but I will not. In the spirit of the third waves, I will not be combining. Actually, maybe I should just grab this. I will see to choose an extra passive weapon. Huh. Oh, a veggie tray, like I've been thinking about. Now, if I could just get something else. Maybe I should have kept the random events on, but I really did not want to run into Stalker yet again. You know what? Yeah, I'll switch the random events back on. It's more interesting that way. Report? No, I can't. I don't have the slots. Well, I do have the slots for it. It'll just combine. Also, once again, against the rules of the third wave. Three weapons, three arcanas, three characters, three stages. Really bad for Pugnala. And Zeosinta. Yeah, look at this. We're four, almost five minutes in, and these are just the basic mobs on Dairy Plant this far in. I didn't have to see Ventro Sacro at all during the first test run. Oh, hey, a chest. Oh, you're shooting things. Oh, you're the Arcana thing. I never even saw you last time. Let's see, I both... Here, Bonde. There we go, Death Spiral. Yeah, they won't know what hit them. Except pain. Pain and suffering.
Oh. oh, looks like we got some King Bible, some Unholy Vespers, a cross, a Heaven Sword, a hammer, looks like a Spellbinder, and a Lucky Clover. Or just a regular Clover. Oh, and the pages for Unholy Vespers on the wall. Perhaps I'm being too picky. I mean, spell stream or spell strike, I know, would work fine. Well, I could grab the passives. Let's see, this one has holy water, labora, vacuum orb. Or, no, it should be a tract orb, actually. Oh, I have to move through it. Thought I'd hit it. It wasn't getting hit. So, I really should have realized that. Alright, doesn't seem to be anything else here. Kind of looks like there's something to the left there, but it's not. Hey, there's Phaser. Alright, time to level up and evolve ASAP. Red gem? Yeah, red gem. Uh-oh, where's the enemies? There they are. Hey, a small clover. Helpful. I had so many small clovers on the other run. It was actually kind of crazy. Oh, the phaser's keeping them away. That's what's happening. Phaser is really good, and Photom Storm's going to be even more ridiculous. Zoom. Pew pew. Pew pew. Pew pew. I still have no idea how anyone clicked on the title for the Space Dude first video in all elite speak, in over elite speak. I have no idea how it even got hit correctly onto the, whatchamacallit, algorithm. Oh hey, I can get both. And efficiency gained. Alright, no way I should be losing at this point. Not with Photon Storm. Minus 70 may not be the best it can be, but it's got the most ultimate effect for what it is. You know, you got three weapons getting minus 70 instead of one weapon getting minus 90, or minus 80. Now, as much as I would love to get something better than Awake, I already know that the final wave here is ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, where are you at, train? So, in case it ever comes up in everyday conversation, you can say that the Vampire Survivors would beat Phantom Train from Final Fantasy VI. They can't touch him. They can't touch they? Does the train get pronouns? Now these are hard-hitting questions you come to this channel for. That and maybe a live stream or two. So, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope you're enjoying the new update. I know, I'm ruined Ponkel for ruining it. I was so close to getting into the triple digits. Well, not that close. Rue the day. Rue the day. Oh yeah. Homer Simpson, oh yeah. <laughs> I hope I didn't come across as too jerkish when I posted that on the Reddit. Oh right, this too. And no Atlanteans. That's weird. And if you keep going over, there will be more switches. And with more switches comes, well, basically acting like a light source. But it seems with a higher probability of dropping small clovers or something. That's the Santa thing. Not gonna grab that, though. So I don't know what it evolves with, and Santa will, will get it. I want to show it off with the character it's actually for. Instead of just some random knucklehead. On the other hand... A Spellbinder and a King Bible. That seems odd. Pretty sure that was in the... Is it random? What pops up? 
Because that was in the second room I went by after I got the first one. I wonder if I can get one of those... Or, well, I don't know what it is called. The passives. Hey, tractor orb. Man, I chose another bad level to actually have scruples. Yeah, well. Let's see, about two and a half more minutes of this. Hey, looped around. What do you got for me? A bag of cash. Exactly what I needed with my billions and billions of gold coins. Can I trigger a trap here? No. Let's go on the train tracks. I was desperately trying to survive the final wave by getting a switch to hit the train. Because, I don't know, it feels like it might instantly destroy the final wave, but none of them would show up despite my enhanced luck. It was very disheartening. And the train goes by. But, yeah, hitting the train got me the achievement which unlocked the other stage. Which was unfortunate, because I would have really liked to have that all in one video. Santa's failures and successes, those will pop up. Because, you know, first wave stuff, first time. No problems, just a full length video that is. So that'll be for tomorrow, and then... Probably... If I unlock the other character? How do I lock them? Sightseeing on the other stage. Oh, 18 minutes in. Not that hard, and yet it's going to get so much worse so fast. I wonder if you get fast enough with like Red Death or something. Red Mask. Silly algorithm. If you can keep up with the train. Alright, time for pain. Yeah, look at this nonsense. Oh man, even with the wake, I'm not sure I can make it. Man, they are so durable. This is crazy. Two more revives for 20 seconds. 17 seconds. I can only pray. Oh, if I got into that chicken just in time. Oh, just barely. Just barely. Wait, where'd I get another revive? What? When did that happen? Yeah, that final wave is the craziest final wave in the entire game. Like, no, no difficulty for the rest of it. Everything on the end. Find the armadillo. Survive 20 minutes in laboratory to unlock Santa. Santa LaDonna. Alright, that's the first one done. Maybe the others won't be as painful, but somehow I doubt that. Thanks for watching. Okay, so the final wave of laboratory is way too strong. Why is there a loading screen? So to Dairy Plant it is, which was where she would have gone if the triple thing, why did I go to trials? I knew there was nothing I needed. Crown. It's so overtuned, there's really nothing I could have done except gone Tier Jisu, and I didn't want to get Tier Jisu. It's boring to do something like that. All the time. I have to get awake too many times as it is. So to Dairy Plant it goes. Because that should be easier. They say, oh, it's okay, oh. Oh, yep, this is much easier. Having weapons helps. It's so strange having two weapons again. It'll be stranger when I have three. Level up fast. Level up as fast as possible. Well, that could have been an evolution already. No, 
Oh, that first one rarely drops a chest, huh? I was lucky. Pentagram. Well, that probably could have saved me. Oh well, hindsight is 80-80. Obviously, the higher the number, the better. Okay, crown. Alright. And better prismatic missile. Well, heck, even this one actually doesn't do that much damage, about 30. Huh, weird. I guess the sheer speed of it compared to Luminaire is better because it focuses the damage more. Well, learn something new every day. And if you don't, you're probably in a coma. In which case, if you are in a coma, leave a comment down below about that. Thanks for supporting everything. Even if you're just a view that cuts out after a couple minutes, that's a view I didn't have otherwise. Unless it messes with the algorithm. In which case, it's not your fault, it's the algorithm being bad. Oh, silly YouTube algorithm. And that was the spell strike I wanted, wasn't it? Holy Tome Evolve. Er... Holy Wand Evolution. Helpful. Oh, and the dang things didn't get frozen either. That would have saved me. Huh. I don't really need to go anywhere on the map, do I? I can just hang out here. Grab the vacuums. Oh, I could go punch the Atlanteans in the face, that would be fine. Oh, now you show up, Axe. After I don't need you. Bye-bye to the knife. Bye-bye to the Santa water. Oh, life sign scanner, that could have saved me. Man, sharp tongue's showing up a lot, huh? Dun, 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 dun. Hmm, phaser. I think I want the raw damage from spell. Strike though. It does. I had so much. Go away, Fire Wand. Nobody likes you. I like you, but I'm a nobody. So therefore, nobody likes you. The transitive property is restored. Well, it's going okay now, but once the mightier waves show up, this is going to show its limits. That's why I need Spell Strike. It's a nice, fast, hefty amount of damage. And then again, Mina barely survived, despite, well, more damage. To an incredible degree. Frankly, crazy degree. tracer has been showing up a lot. Spell stream is not the one I want. Skippy skip. Can't bust all my rerolls. Need those for the Arcana. Oh boy. This is not the situation you want. Maybe this one will get me what I need. Seems unlikely. Increasingly unlikely. Oh boy. Should have banished some weapons, huh? Well, next level's the last. Maybe one reroll. Huh, well, La Roba. Empty tome. Well, if we're gonna go anywhere, it's gonna be La Roba. It does make a lot of space, so that's nice. Well, it would if it was bigger, but I don't have Candle Arbador. So actually, it's going to be pretty terrible, huh? Well, uh, the Atlantean we go.
Get that base damage up. Burner's going to do the most damage of anything I have. It's still not going to be very much. Gotta take what you can get. Also, I technically could have held out for a candy box, couldn't I? Ropa, max out. Random always. Random always. Okay, it's doing about 90-ish damage with some of them. They all do different damage. Not really something you'd think about, huh? Yeah, looks like they do different damage. Hey, it's always good to learn new weird mechanics that really will never ever come into play. You know, obviously the thing you want the most is the grand piano since that's the biggest. Which I don't think I've seen actually, huh? Maybe it's based on luck? Plenty of bookcases, the coffins and the mirror have shown up. Throne, the mirror, the coffin again. Grand Piano's in Inlaid Library. Oh, that's what I was thinking about on the video that didn't get posted. And maybe the other one that didn't get posted. Oh, bad footage. You go bye-bye now. It's that technically three weapons is the most efficient use of the power of Sign Old Sanctuary. Since that way you get a total of minus 210 cooldown. And the most might. Or something along that lines. I forgot about the math. Totally should have checked that. If I got blindsided by this update, I wanted to do something else. So now here we are. On a level that isn't the actual update. Boy, this was poorly planned out on my part. But then again, that's what I get for wanting to get food. Mmm, delicious, nutritious food. Alright, Atlantean's shown up. Oh, I did check off on the failed run with her on laboratory. One of them. That the Atlanteans do spawn in, but you have to get really close to the thing. You basically have to be touching it. Oh. This is not the right move. But I would prefer not to save some rerolls for the next one and get something I can use right now. Oh, that was, went down pretty easy. Which is worrisome. Feels weird to leave the rings behind. Well, the good ring behind. The best ring behind. 45 to size and duration? Sign me up, skipper. I want to wash that poop deck. All these bulls with their milk everywhere. I want to ask, I want to ask, I want to embrace the forbidden. E. Makudina. Imakudani. Elucidanios. Oh well. Actually, I should probably just stay still, huh? Make a little fort of stuff. And just guard it. Or I could go get cold and eggs. Make sure there's actually gameplay happening on the screen instead of just cutting to the end and ranty about random nonsense all the way. Granted, I think I was ranting about random nonsense on the second video, so keeping it up for over 130. Wait, no, this is 141. Keeping it up for 141 videos. Aw, yeah. There'll be much more to come, like with the Melise and the Ghost Run, because I have plans for those. Weird plans, scary plans. At the very least, once I finally complete everything, I'll just super run through the final characters when they get released. Because that will totally be a thing that happens. Well, at the very least, as things go, I will be increasing the size or length of the videos. 
or, well, technically what I have planned for the fourth wave would make the shortest. And yet the most effective idea that could be. Uh, let's see, at that point it would be 7 out of 21. A third of the way through. Oh boy. A third of the way through. If dead, probably be like a fifth of the way through by the time it actually occurs. Oh man, oh man. This was the worst idea I've had. And I chose to be born, too. Ho 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 ho! Where you at, Atlantean? I want to go throw furniture at you. Hmm. Decent enough damage, but it's probably not going to be enough to take down the robots at the end. Oh, that's what awake is for. Hey, chests with gold. Many gold coins. Oh, that's enough to buy a new power-up. And seal three is going to get expensive. I mean, it better be at seal three. <laughs> oh man, did I actually mention this in the Antonio video? Well, now's the time to do it third wave. That means three characters, three stages, three weapons, three passives, and three arcana. Third wave. Coming at you hot. Or cold, because you really want to be watching stuff about Santa in the new level. And instead, I'm doing it on an old level with nothing new. Because the new level is too hard at the end. Probably could have won with some Tirajisu cheese, but... I'm using awake too often as it is. Well, the medium bots are going down fast enough. Granted, the medium bots went down instantly to Mina, and she still lost to the giant bots, so... Wait, that was because it was on inverse. I'm not in inverse anymore. That means everything is weak and pathetic. I am strong and mighty. Yeah, fear her mighty furniture throwing prowess. Fear it, fear it. Oh, hey, our conchess. Let's get that. F what? Why is it scrolling like that? Oh, because the Santa thingies are f affected by it. Oh, Tragic Princess effectives affects that as well. I'm not going to get what I need, huh? Ooh, Gemini, so the Santa one also has that. Oh good, Jail of Crystal at the very back end. Right, not as effective as it... Well, Spell Strike would have been better than Laroba, but... Hey, not often you get to see Laroba outside Sir Ambrojo. The classiest guy of them all. Here, here, watch that furniture fall. Uh, oh, ooh. I could have gone phaser and luminaire, or photon storming luminaire, and I would have had colored lights going in both directions. Horizontal and vertical. It would have been like a square box of rainbowy doom. And that would have been kind of funny for five seconds. I've got a whole seven minutes, which is really like 3.30. Because Hyper, or Hurry, is still on. Hyper has always been on. I've never taken Hyper off in forever. In fact, I don't even know what non... Well, actually I do, because of Adventures are not in Hyper mode. Who are you? I mean, to talk through so many failures really gets your mouth a-going, doesn't it? Well, maybe you don't know. Maybe you don't encounter failure as often as I do. 
In fact, it would be very hard to do that. Because I have never had a success in my life. I'm not actually playing this. It's someone else. Ha <laughs> ha, you've been scammed. And because you're not watching the video this late, you'll never know you were scammed. I see the analytics. You all drop after three minutes. So anyone who's still watching, thanks for that. This isn't a scam. I'm totally doing it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, elbow, elbow. Uh, oh, chicka, wow, wow. Wait. That doesn't seem right. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, elbow, elbow. Wooga? No, that isn't right either. Oh man, if these guys are getting in, then the big pots are going to have no trouble. Oh well, I've got to wake. And then again, awake didn't save me on basically the same thing on laboratory. So, I am ready for disappointment and failure. Uh, minus however many years of age I am. Birth to death? Nothing but one long string of pessimism. Well, at least they're frozen. I mean, actually, that should be fine. Most of them will get frozen if they do get in. I can stick in the safe zones between the frozen and the one... Wait, no, they're going to be immune to freeze because they're the big boss variants. Dang it. And they're not going to get... Even if I had out of bounds instead of awake, it wouldn't have done enough damage. Because they wouldn't be frozen. Oh, well, the other ones... These ones are freezing nicely. Oh, I really should not be taking damage before the 29 minute mark. Oh, stay in my... Stay in my furniture prison. Or my furniture pile. That'll save me. Oh, here comes the pain zone. And again, maybe if there's enough of the weaker ones left. Oh, I get trapped beneath this thing. Did I even get to the Atlantean here? Yeah, I took him out. Oh, and it was defanged. I'm not taking much damage, if any. Okay, stay near the mooses. They get frozen. Uh-oh. Well, you're defanged over here, so it's safer. Oh. Uh, save me. Save me, furniture. Oh, just barely. Whew. 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 Okay, let's see if Pascalina can survive where Antonio and Imelda failed with the laboratory. Greylo Kart can be saved for another day. Well, Carlo Kart can be saved for another day. Why is that loading screen existing? That infuriates me beyond all reason. Well, this is off to a start. Well, let's give me what I need. No. No. I could probably stand in the door, couldn't I? Ooh, it's Kizabara. That's what I wanted. Nice. That plus armor equals strong and fast and powerful. Now, what do you think my third weapon is going to be? It's obviously know what the first two are and what my passes are going to be. Well, two of my passes at least. What's the third one? Who knows? Even I've already forgotten what it is. If you said prismatic missile, turns out you were wrong. Oh, candle arbor And why not? Candle arbor plus these? Pretty good. Now it's time to go to the right for the first time. Will it change anything? Wow, I got hit very hard there. Oh, right, I could just stand in these corners. Just chew through them all with no trouble. Oh, this is going so much better. And yet, I still don't know if it'll be enough at the end. 
Okay, so you have to get really close to the silver ring rings in this stage in order to spawn the Atlantean. It's pretty interesting to learn. Hey, combo's here. Aw, oh, nice short little corridors, right where Pascalino lives and wants to live forever and ever and ever. Try and get away from the rune tracers in a stage this small. No. Need to make sure I have at least one of them leveled up to the max before I grab that so I can get the evolution right away. Yeah. I could get the axe, or I could get something else. What is it going to be? Do I have a plan in mind? Have I remembered what the plan is? Who knows? You'll just have to keep tuning in to find out. So, on that note, everyone who's stuck around this long, thanks for watching. Hope you're having some fun, hope you're having a good day. And if you aren't, hey, I hope it gets better. Ooh, I hit the Atlantean with a train. Oh yeah, that was worth it. Oh, that wasn't. Ow. Well, this Kisper maxed out. Armor about to be maxed out. As well as. Oh, right, empty tome. That's a thing. Okay, why did I get armor over empty tome? That was the least beneficial thing known to man. Oh, get trained. And that's the story of how Atlantis fell. Trains. Boss right into my face. I didn't even see it before I went down. Okay. Now what am I going to get for my final weapon? It's a mystery to everyone. Da -da 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 Another passive. Clicky click. Huh. That is interesting that's tagged as a weapon though. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what I was going to pick. I've long since forgotten everything about my life. Right. Let's see. Key and Labrador. Obviously Axe. Nothing else. Well, nothing else. That only requires one. Hmm. <laughs> That'd be silly. I can't get silver winded a festive wind. Shade bomb's not the worst idea, honestly. Neither would be Corelo on the actual tracks down there. Retaliation damage. Magic wand. Use magic wand enough, don't want it. I know. Life sign scan. That seems like it would be a terrible idea. But you know what? It's Legionnaire and Rune Tracer. Wait. Right. I don't have the passives sealed. I just have sealed off the passives. I said rule of three and I mean it. I'm not getting a fourth of anything. Well, except candy boxes when the game forces them on me. I'm skipping them. I'm skipping them good. So I'm not going to cheese anything out with Paranormal Scan. Unless I specifically intend to cheese something out with Paranormal Scan. Like this, frankly. Man, the scrolling is making it actually worse to see. Jail of Crystal? Jail of Crystal. Or all the way at the end, aren't you? Divine Bloodline. It will benefit me in no way whatsoever, but I want it anyway. Wait, right. The Legionary hits count. I get bonus self off that. Oops. Well, I've won. Yeah, this is already hitting for as much as Spell Strike was with Melvin. She couldn't do it. 
but I'll be much safer on account of, well, my health going up. Both permanently and temporarily. And random always to victory. Why don't you just roll basically randomly winning? Who needs skill when you've got the RNG on your side? Well, actually, who needs anything when you have Divine Bloodline and Legionary? Okay, Sammy could get away with it, but... Man, I have no idea what I'm even talking about anymore. It's late and I've gotten too many losses under my belt. Which is impressive because I'm not wearing a belt, because who would be wearing a belt when they are recording footage for a video game? Well, heck, if you do, give me a comment. I'm always interested to learn weird new things like that. Well, then again, you're probably not going to comment if I say it's a weird that you record with a belt on, huh? Oh, well. If that somehow sent you into the tomb of Fenchin, of oh, Fenchin tomb. Well, I have clearly lost my mind. And again, that implies I ever had it in the first place. But yeah, if that was offensive, sorry. If it wasn't, oh ah. Uh. Man, my eyes are glazing over. Oh, good, awake. Phew, that was actually very bad. And wait, those were the rings. They weren't even the Metaglios. How far do I have to get to the Metaglios? Or is it just always RNG based? Oh, there's a Bible. Hmm. Down here would be better than the tight corridor. And the tor corridors could loop around. On the other hand, they don't extend out. Hmm. This is a one that is tricky. They don't leave the corridor as much as you think, considering the way they bounce. Not as many as you'd think as well, without duplicator or other things. Huh. They bounce off the door, so the... Oh, no they're not. They're going through it. The door is a lie. The door is a lie, Ponk. Well, you've tricked us all. That's the next great plot twist in meme in video games. The door is a lie. Grief, how do I have seven more minutes of this to go? I put it on hyper, right? Or hurry, right? Will this give me? Well, I guess I'm running as fast as I can trying to Metaglios. So what else do I have for me? Two. But get confused about everything. Oh boy, the screen's now a blur. And not just because of what's happening on the screen, but in general. That's not good. It's great. Man, do cereals still have commercials? I haven't watched a commercial in, well, months now. I mean, they used to be called commercials, now they're called ads. And they're on YouTube video.
And, well, whatever pops up as a YouTube ad typically is very limited. It's not like, well, cereal commercials. It's like game ads or something like that. Well, then again, it's mostly because I watch nothing but gaming channels. And the occasional music thing or a clip. Hi, Clover. Oh, if only. But your green is not destined for Pascalina's hands. Hey, the vacuum. Yay, levels. Don't you just love levels? Okay, and now we get to the 18 minute mark. The Robo Cure Rutet Dans or the Mecha Godzilla things. I can't remember. Wait, no, it'd be Mecha King Gyor Dan. Dang it, you know, I know his name. And yet, I can't pronounce it. I mean, I know Rodan and Mothra. And Jet Jaguar. Who doesn't love Jet Jaguar? One movie. And yet it's still iconic. Well, uh, let's see. Yeah, look what having damage and health gets you through. These things annihilated a Melda. I didn't even get to like 30 seconds. But, you know, Divine Bloodline is going to Divine Bloodline. Oh wow, that was a lot lower number than Imelda was actually pushing out. And yet she got wrecked and Pascalina survived. Go figure. But tomorrow, they're going to be bringing it all to home with Santa here. Santa LaDonna starts with temporary cooldown bonus, triggers a rosary when health reaches a critically low level. Likes to keep secrets. Well, that's encouraging. Till next time. Wait, minus 75% cooldown. Oh boy. Till next time. Okay, and the first attempts with the laboratory caused some issues as things go very off the rails very fast. It is 211, right? And in fact, they go so off the rails that I can't actually beat it with one of the characters. That final charge is very dangerous. And look forward to what nonsense Santa is going to be getting up to tomorrow as she actually challenges the stage effectively. Remember when it was at 1100? I enjoyed that time. Oh, yep, yeah. Santa LaDonna is going to be tomorrow challenging the laboratory in full and hopefully being strong enough to plow through that final minute with no trouble. Thanks for watching. If you'd kindly leave a like, comment, subscribe to support the channel. Dislike if you don't want to. Have a good day and keep messing around.